Kiev and anti-government forces have called off their peace talks, which were due to take place in Belarus today. Efforts to end the eight-month conflict in East Ukraine remain in deadlock, and the last round of negotiations ended with no breakthrough. Well, let's get more now from RT's Roman Kosarev, who's in Donetsk, one of the focal points of the conflict. Roman, it looks like stalemate's dragging on a little bit, <laughs> rather a lot, in fact. Tell us the latest. Well, the sides um, of the conflict uh, met in Minsk on Wednesday. It was supposed to be a two-stage uh, uh, talking process. However, according to Belarusian officials, the talks have been uh, called off right now. The sides are blaming uh, each other for the breakdown of their negotiations. Uh, 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 the officials uh, here are uh, saying that uh, Kiev uh, is uh, not ready to accept the political realities uh, at uh, present. However, uh, the sides uh, have come to uh, uh, one uh, common point, and that's the prisoner exchange, which should take place uh, very, uh, very soon. And uh, in terms of prisoners, uh, there are 150 uh, self-defense fighters uh, kept by uh, the Ukrainian side and 225 Ukrainian soldiers uh, uh, in prison here. Now, the officials here in Donetsk are saying that uh, they are ready to do the prisoner exchange as soon as possible. However, officials in Kiev say, are saying they're not uh, ready for this swap uh, and uh, they're not ready for it to happen today. Uh, however, according to my own sources in the prisoner exchange uh, committee here in the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic, that swap could take place as soon as on Friday night. So uh, watch this space and uh, we'll give you the latest as soon as it's available. OK, Roman, many thanks for that. I'm sure if there are any developments, we'll be right back with you. So thanks very much, Roman Kosorov in Donetsk.